Are you familiar with the Khazar theory? There's a theory, it's widely accepted as anti-Semitic, that, that, Jew, that Ashkenazi Jews come from the Khazars and they don't, they're not Levantine. But it's, DNA it's, tests... It's not anti-Semitic, it's a question of fact. It's not anti-Semitic, it's a question of fact. It's not anti-Semitic, it's a question of fact. <laughs> Are you familiar with the Khazar theory? There's a theory, it's widely accepted as anti-Semitic, that, that, Jew, that Ashkenazi Jews come from the Khazars and they don't, they're not Levantine. But it's, DNA it's, tests... It's not anti-Semitic, it's a question of fact. So uh, Shlomo San, for example, has argued that, I think probably exaggerated, but it's simply a question of fact. If my ancestors from the Ukraine have Khazar... Uh, root changes nothing. I'm Jewish. My grandfather was Jewish. Uh, uh, he, uh, my family, happens to have a uh, story saying that we're descended from the Baal Shem Tov. Okay, that's part of the yeah. culture. Doesn't matter what the DNA shows. It just doesn't matter. doesn't matter what the DNA shows. We live, I mean, this is a point that Achad Am made uh, over a century ago in his lectures on the two Moseses. He says, yes, there's a Moses of history, which who may have existed, may not have existed. There's a Moses of culture, and that exists as a cultural phenomenon. And it's the cultural phenomenon within our cultural tradition whoever Moses might have been, and if he even existed. Yes, that's true. We live in a world of cultural traditions. Makes no difference what the DNA says. So, okay, if the DNA says we're not descended from the Baal Shem Tov, uh, hence back to King David, uh, but we're descended from somebody in the Caucasus, makes absolutely no difference to our identity. We should stop this silly game altogether. It's maybe of some scholarly historical interest, but of no significance for the modern world. The modern world is the cultural entities that we're part of, okay? Uh, social and cultural entities. And the, uh, so we should throw all that aside. You know, they can play with it in biology labs in Israel where they're intent on showing something absurd. Uh, but we live in this world with its own cultural social, political structures. And in this world, I'm Jewish, no matter what the, what the uh, uh, DNA shows. Uh, there is an actual existing world in Israel-Palestine. I've already reviewed briefly what it is. Sharp discrimination against Palestinians within Israel, illegal settlements, uh, in occupied the West Bank, destruction of Gaza. Those are the major phenomena we have to deal with. And there are ways to deal with them. And talking about what happened in the Bible is not going to help. There are people who would dispute some of the history that you're offering. There would be people who would make a disconnection. And I want you to hear me out on this so that I not be misunderstood. There would be people who would say that there is a disconnect between the ancient Jewish populations, that the people who lived in the region before the destruction of the temple, before 70 CE, before the first destruction of the first temple, they would say that those people are not the same people biologically, culturally, ethnically, as the people who are making the claim of sovereignty in the land now. If I were making that claim, then what you would raise would be relevant. It would be urgent. It would, it would undermine my claim that it's not complex. But I don't make that claim. I actually believe that that's an anti-Semitic claim. 
Are you familiar with the Khazar theory? There's a theory, it's widely accepted as anti-Semitic, that, that, that Ashkenazi Jews come from the Khazars and they don't, they're not Levantine, but it's, DNA it's, tests... It's not anti-Semitic, it's a question of fact. But I don't make that claim. I actually believe that that's an anti-Semitic claim. I happen to believe... I, I have no investment in questioning um, anyone's Jewishness, anyone's uh, genetic ties to the land, anyone's uh, religious or spiritual ties to the land. I, I don't I don't buy into the sadly reignited Khazar myth, uh, or which has been disputed by all accounts that I've seen. Um, I've seen no intellectual, empirical, biological DNA. None of that stuff uh, to me, it, there's no evidence of it, right? So because of all of that, the largely the, the ancient history that you're offering only substantiates a point that I don't dispute. Are you familiar with the Khazar theory? There, there's a theory, it's widely accepted as anti-Semitic, that, that, that Ashkenazi Jews come from the Khazars and they don't, they're not Levantine, but it's, DNA it's, tests... It's not anti-Semitic, it's a question of fact. I'm white. I'm white. Unseasoned. A Caucasian. A Caucasian. A Caucasian. First, let me, uh, when uh, you see Ashkenazi Jews sharing high similarity to Romanians and Hungarians, this is because both of these populations were offshoots of the, of the Khazars. Um, they were both founded by, by uh, these members of the Kafkazos who ruled uh, this area of uh, north of the Black Sea where we have South Russia nowadays, uh, between the 7th and uh, 13th centuries. A uh, very powerful empire, they converted to Judaism in the 8th century uh, and they sent offshoots to, to Eastern Europe. Um, and we still, some, some uh, Ashkenazi Jews are mapped to this, this region of Ukraine. They're not all mapped to, to Ashkenaz. Most of them are, but some of them are mapped to Ukraine and we can see very nicely some kind of migration route uh, using GPS. What's your thoughts? Please be respectful with your comments. Also, please click the like, click the notification bell, and subscribe to this channel. Listen, Genesis chapter 11, verse 10 explains the genealogy of Shem. Shem was a black man in Africa. If you repeat this back, Genesis 14, verse 13. Abraham steps on the scene. Being a descendant of Shem, which is a fact, means Abraham too was black. Abraham, born in the city of a black man, called Nimrod, grandson of Ham. Ham had four sons. One was named Cain. Here, let me do some explaining. Abraham, Isaac was the father. Jacob had 12 sons, for real, and these were the children of Israel. According to Genesis chapter 10, these were the children of Israel. According to Genesis chapter 10, these were the children of Israel. According to Genesis chapter 10.